sippy Cause I've been sipping on Henny I got the study of my vision And she ain't from the city And she ain't foreign And she boring Love the way you twerk it shawty Throwing money on her own I call it independent shawty What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel I'm Evil Rabbit Here joined by MK6 Perigo on Forza Motorsports 7, we are staring down that blue 1997 BMW M3 wide body. We're here today to do a full drift review on this BMW because it is not my tune. It is MK6's tune. So I'm going to turn it over to MK6 if he can give a little lowdown on his car. And then we're going to put this to the street and uh, slay some tires and see what we can do with this car. All right, ahead, well, MK. with this, I just... I, I just wanted to go with the typical, you know, street beater you see out cruising the streets, slide to the corners you want. 97 M3, slam to the ground. It's got basic uh, bolt-ons, intake, exhaust, uh, bigger cams for higher revving. Uh, as for suspension, it's slammed on race coils, um, bigger brakes, about 50% braking pressure for those tandems. Um, Nice uh, rocket bunny wing in the back with the wide body kit. I think it uh, makes this M3 look pretty, uh, pretty rowdy. So, first impressions. I've always loved M3s, especially the 1997 uh, BMW at heart. Seeing as I am a technician for BMW, so it uh, kind of hits home. The the wide body and the rocket bunny. Definitely glad to see them in Forza 7 from Horizon. It was definitely a huge thing when they brought out out in Horizon 3 and the fact that it you know came to the motorsport game is even better looking forward to even more coming here soon for Forza Horizon 4 hopefully uh you know there's going to be some uh you know toge tandems in Horizon 4 but we won't know that until we get more releases so uh, I think it's time that we uh send this to the track I don't know what do you think MK I think we should uh see if we can get some tandems send. and uh shred some tires let's lay, this, let's lay some tires all right yeah. Let's uh. It's a, first, you like my bumper sticker or my uh, quarter panel sticker? First impressions of the sound though. Oh, hashtag just a tap. Oh. We're gonna try and uh, get a feel for the car first before we try and get too close. As I say that, I come right up on you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so third gear's uh pretty good now. A lot better. Yeah, I like I, third I gear. Put bigger cams in it. Yeah, put bigger cams in it, and it gave it a rev range that third gear can actually handle in sliding. So it's uh really stable. It is stable. I think your version two that we're in now is a little bit stabler, more stable than version one. You must have done some tweaks to the suspension. Uh, I did add just point one more camber up front, and then I did take away an entire degree of camber in the rear. So, I'm down like to point uh, five in the rear. What do we run in the front? Two and a half, three. Oh, oh. <laughs> Try four point seven. Oh dang, camber gang though. Angle gang though. It holds it though. It has a steering lock to you know save itself. That's definitely nice. Oh, yeah. I, I think this is a pretty stable platform. A little too early. Oh, way but... too early. The animal off in the grass. Bye. Bye. It's okay. I think I'm doing the tune some justice. <laughs> Someone's got to. I'm still warm enough. I just got on for a long day. Of work, so give me a little bit. Oh, my gosh. The weight transfer on this car is really nice, though. So if you guys want a chance to check out this tune yourself, I will, before we end this episode off, I'll show the tune up. You guys can download it yourself, get a chance to drive it for yourself as well, and let me know what you guys think of this tune, if you guys agree with me, but this thing's pretty stable. I'm, uh, I'm liking this a lot. Really long e-brake grab, but it holds it. This thing does rev really high. Uh, it revs to almost 92, 93. I don't think I'm going to hold that. Holy crap. Okay, I held it. I lied. Just kidding. <laughs> Alright. All right. Here goes some. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, oh. I thought I was going to slide into tandems with that. That would have oh. been sick. Oh, Almost. It's it's super easy in this car to just throw it on. Just cut the grass. And catch it. Oh my god, it held that angle though. <clears throat> and I didn't lose any of my Hold points. It. Just a little clutch kick and back. All oh. right. And invert 360. So, uh, this car definitely uh, is one of the better handling cars what, what? that I've driven in a while. What what do you think? Is there anything you could think of that I need to change, add, move? Um, for power wise, I think it's okay. Um, do you have sway bars in this car? Uh, I no, I don't believe I put sway. Oh, wait, I might just recently installed them. I will have to check. Um, the only thing I am noticing that I would probably change a little is uh the car's pretty stiff um which is good for like hard flick entry but it makes the transitions really snappy so you kind of have to go off track like i just did <laughs> and <laughs> you you kind of have to be ready to transition you can't kind of like so i think tandeming with another car might be a little harder because it's a snappy transition unlike a kind of like a flowing transition so maybe a softer yeah, a, lot a softer spring rate might help that but i mean i was able okay. to throw it i was able to throw it that way without handbrake or anything just using the weight of the car which is good because stiffer suspension is good for like e-braking entries and hard entries but when you're trying to like do a flowy oh boy we're going this way a flowy like tandem um a little bit of body roll is okay oh i almost got that one i saw that trying not to wreck these cars we've done pretty good without hitting each other though this race but uh that's all about to change because i'm about to slide up in there and see if i can't get that door uh-oh i'm going for that uh -oh. corner Just a tap! <laughs> I stayed in it too long. If you would have feathered off a little bit, you would have been okay. Oh. Yeah, I thought it would I thought I could hold the angle of power out. Oh, you, oh my gosh, that throw though. Hello. Hi. So my impressions of this car, it's pretty it's a really stable it's really stable. It doesn't like it's predictable, which is really nice that it's a very predictable car um which i guess is a testament to the i followed your line oh, <laughs> i guess it's a testament to the stiffer sus the stiffer suspension makes it um very predictable um when you have a softer suspension car uh there's a lack of you know predictability but personally i prefer a softer car but this is actually really nice 10 out of 10 would agree that uh, I would drive this car again. And I would recommend people to download it and give it a shot because uh, this is a yes, very stable don't, tune. Don't take my crazy driving that it's a bad tune. I just like to send it 100% of the time. <laughs> <laughs> a little door love. I'm still in it. Okay, nice team first pass. Oh, stay in it. Oh. Don't tell me you lost it. Yeah, the counter. Oh, it came back way, get it snapped wrecked. back way too hard. I'm, I'm going to soften up the suspension up a bit because, yeah, you're right. With the tandem transfers, it's really too snappy. I mean, if you get it right, it'd be good. I mean, with the fact that we're in the same cars, it'd be pretty, you know, because the cars run the same. But if you're running against a guy that's running a softer suspension, trying to get suck up to their door maybe a little bit difficult yeah all right we're gonna try something i can't oh. do 360 <laughs> i tried it it, it I, took me a what a a forever a forever i mean i'm on a wheel too so 360s are like a whole nother monster 
Yeah, over here on a controller, it's just flicking a stick a couple directions and holding a trigger. Alright, let's see if I can't stuck up on your door. Last try, last turn, let's do it. Mm. Oh, we're not gonna have time. Oh, yo, well, well, watch this. <laughs> I, I had it. I had that it was sick. I transitioned mm. into that. Internationals, international, whatever. Pagello, yeah, it's gonna go said. sideways. That's all that matters. Sounds so nasty. This car is so rowdy, though. I keep short shifting, forgetting that it revs so high. Little Manji section. Okay, I see you. Oh, two. Oh. You're good? I should have clutch kicked it. You good. Ooh. There we go. Getting the doors. Alright. All right. Alrighty. Alrighty. There we go. <laughs> I'm feeling it. Oh, <laughs> massive angle. This car throws some serious Bruh. angle. Oh my gosh. This track has some really nice high speed sections. Oh yeah. Oh, this car is dialed though. I think a little bit softer on the suspension and this car would be pretty mint. I almost flipped the car. So you're gonna have to wait up a second. I did that a couple times yesterday. I, I know. Yeah, this car's pretty dialed. Definitely, uh, definitely a good tune here for sure. Now, I know it is missing, I think, Two things to make this thing like ESDA spec. It's missing a cage, and uh, you have to be on sport tires. Okay, I can change that for you. Uh, that way, you, if you want to run it in ESDA, you can. You can walk it. I mean, I wouldn't mess would with be, this I'm, tune that much. I would probably make, you could maybe just make than, another other one. Than what's needed, really. Yeah. Or I'll make think. another one. Yeah. I mean, this is pretty much like a street drift car. You know, no cage, we die like men, you know, that kind of thing. Exactly, exactly. Uh oh. Scurpy scurp. No seatbelt, we, we die like this. Oh, no way. <laughs> I just threw it like 90 degrees in the grass and somehow did not spit out. Yep, 10 out of 10. Definitely good tune. All right. This oh. is gonna be bad. <laughs> oh. oh, Jesus, hi. just tap. Oh my God, no, holy God. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God, we were dancing. That was awesome. <laughs> what? Oh my God. <laughs> We just were doing some synchronized Dan dancing in M3s. Oh, that was I sick. Use my, I use my analog stick to look over, and all I see is a, another M3 perfectly just passing me, not even touching me. And I'm like, backwards? Hello? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, um, hello? We don't, we don't just do tandems here on Team Evil Rabbit. We do synchronized spinning. <laughs> synchronized 360 tandems. Oh, yep. I think a little bit softer would be better because uh, rumble strips do not favor this car. <laughs> the car's not that happy on rumble strips. Oh, I just took out the cone line. <laughs> I just tapped every single one of those cones on that outer line with the back bumper of the car. Yup. Come on, do that. Link those two turns. Oh my gosh. 
Yeah, this thing is so dialed. I'd have to say, it it took me a while to get my Camaro that I might use an ESDA dialed, so it's uh, this is definitely a nice dialed tune. It's an easy tune to drift, too. It's not a... So, you know, you don't have to be stupid... Uh, I wouldn't say stupidly skilled. It's not a hard car no, to drive, can, so it's yeah. it's a very laid back, easy to drive. You can get some good tandem with it. Oh, hey, exactly. And, that's what I was looking for. I, I was looking for the car that's gonna look. It's gonna you know be easy to handle and be easy and fun to tandem with, but also can handle the more intense stuff that it can get put through. And it also a testament to, you tune this on a controller and I'm on a wheel, so it's also very good that it's it's cross-platform because there's a lot of tunes out there that are tuned on a controller that just are complete shit on a wheel. Um, and then there's also tunes that are tuned on a wheel that are just complete crap on a controller. This one, you know, you're sliding just as you know well as I am and we're on two different platforms, so, you know, it's good all around on both platforms, which is nice. Oh, I've already fucked this one up. Oh! Hello! <laughs> <laughs> I landed. Please, please tell me you saw that. I just saw you just flip in front of me as I'm sideways. Well, I think that's going to do it here for this episode because MK died. So, like I said, oh I'm going to show you guys God. the tune before we completely end this out. So we're going to... Uh, finish this last minute 43 out as you guys know you can follow me on facebook twitch twitter and instagram all of which are found in the description box below i will leave uh the all the information for mk6 and the name of the tune in the description box as well you guys know mk6 from the channel he's been here from the beginning definitely a good member of the team good friend of mine so it's always fun sliding with Thank people you, you know I I always i appreciate Ooh. all the fun times we've had Ooh. It's been, a long, it's, it's, it's been a fun to almost uh, coming up on maybe two years in October, I think, for you. Uh, I think so, yeah. Because because we started this, I remember, on my birthday. Uh, I think it was 2016 or 2017. Yeah, we started it then with uh, the first uh, game of Drift with the uh, budget build on some uh, S13s. And uh, it's, oh, just, yeah. it's just progressed from there. <laughs> so, let me know, guys, down in the comment section down below. You guys want to see Game of Drift come back to the channel here on Forza 7. You guys want to see it on Forza Horizon 3 again. Let me know, because a lot of you guys I know like Game of Drift, and I've kind of been lacking on throwing out Game of Drifts here. So, definitely, if you guys want to see Game of Drift come back to the channel, let me know down in the comment section down below. As well as tap this like button and subscribe to the channel, because I do appreciate the support from every single one of you guys. I do you know, reply to all your comments as much as I can comes right to my phone. So I do appreciate all the support from everybody, all the comments and such on the channel. And I'm pretty sure MK6 would appreciate a, a like or two on this tune if you uh, download it yourself and give it a shot. Of course. All right, so let's go. Up. Any feedback from you guys would be uh, always welcome. Yeah, if you guys think of something that might be want to change, just throw it down in the comment section down below. And I'm pretty sure he will see it as well as I will see it and let him know. So we're going to quit out real quick. And we're going to take a look at the tune so I can show you guys where to get it. So if you guys want to download MK6 tune, which I definitely recommend doing it, it's right here. It is EVL E36 V2. Uh, this one is the one we were driving today as well as there is the E36 EVL, which is a lower power tune, which is just as stable. That was the one we were messing with before. Then he added a little more power, added a little bit more pizzazz to the car. So make sure you guys check it out, MK6 Parago, right there on the screen. Make sure you download the tune. So until next time, guys, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit, and he's MK6, and I'm out. And we're out. <laughs> we're out. <laughs>